Well, I was extremely pleased with today's practice. Um, you know, that was that looked like, uh, you know, and I say a real, a real practice. But I mean, that's that's speed, intensity, you know, physicality showed up today with pads. You know, but what I loved is you didn't see guys falling all over the ground. I mean, it was you know, guys were able to keep their feet. Some some explosive plays on both sides of the ball. You know, guys uh, got some really good. Um, Special teams competition, you know, challenge our guys with just the intensity um, of, of each rep. You know, you know, regardless of what the drill is. I mean, you, you it's, it's it's easy to get you know excited for a team for a team situation or a competitive drill, but you know, when you're working fundamentals, can you bring that intensity? Can you bring that focus? Uh, and I thought we did better with that today. I mean, there are, there's mistakes that were made in practice. Um, you know, guys getting you know pushing, trying to put them in in uh, different situations. You know, really trying to work the mental, the mental aspect of it. But I thought, you know, as a whole, I mean, both sides of the ball. I mean, you saw some some really good things. Uh, I thought we did some a good job in protection with that for, with the uh, with the first group uh, in the offensive line. I thought we you know, threw the ball around really well. I thought our run defense was was impressive. I mean, a couple plays that um, you, you want to see that back and forth. And um, you know, it was it was just a good competitive day. I mean, the um, first day of pads. Guys were pushing at a fast pace in practice. Um, you know, looking at our GPS data, I mean, it is I mean, the the work that we're getting per minute is is really good. And uh, so I like I like um, you know the push of our players, you know the challenges that they're embracing. Um, like I said, we put a lot of a lot of installation today. Was a pretty good install. And once once again for the third day in a row, there wasn't it wasn't a chaotic mess. And uh, you know that sounds like what you know, sometimes we. You get early in camp. I mean, those things could show up, but they were. They, they've spent a lot of time studying and showing up, and um, it's allowing us to play play pretty fast. So, would the ability to thud be physical to the depth and size of the offensive line been more noticeable in that setting? Yeah, that's that's one of the biggest you know, things that I've seen just continue to grow. I mean, you watch you know, Robert Scott's a great example. I mean, he's you know, 25 to 30 pounds heavier than what he played at sometimes last year and, and um, you watch his feet you watch his movements you saw you watch the confidence and just um, you know what he's being asked to do you know and you know, I mean he still has his plays but you know that is a that, that is a big help and you know the guys that are stronger they, they um, you know, I like the competition that we have you look I mean all three all three units that we're repping I mean it's there's some good sized guys uh, like that those six offense those six young guys it's gonna be fun to watch them grow and develop. Whatever that looks like this year, whatever, but you know, going through three days and seeing them out there, you know, you know, popping around today. It's um, I, I like what we're, I like what we're doing in the trenches. Uh, both sides of the ball was really, really good. I thought uh, you know you see some of that out of, out of the linebacker group. You know, Tatum flashed. I saw you know some some really good plays. You know, Kalen Roach continues to get better. Um, you know, I think Amari Amari DJ uh, Omar Omar Graham. Um, you know, you know Stephen Dix. Uh, uh, you know, for the first first few days, I mean, it's I, I like I like that that group is really starting to emerge as well. So, um, you know, size, physicality, speed, it's, it's all uh, intriguing. Do you feel like you're starting to see more consistency out of Johnny Wilson? I, I mean, he is. I mean, he's just and he's getting more confident in what what he's doing. And, and you know, also you know, for for the quarterbacks and the time, you know, that it's you know, rhythm and timing. That's it's the type of offense that there are passing game that we have. And uh, you know, location of balls, understanding where. You know, wh you know, where's our aiming points? And you know, every player is a little bit different. You know, Johnny has a has a great great range. You know, him, Malik, um, you know, Kendra, all of. Them. I mean, it's you, you see the quarterbacks starting to get more in sync. I really, I think a lot of the work that we we're able to do this summer, um, you know, even just routes on air and and having that intensity throughout the summer work uh, was good. But now, you know, these last couple of days having to go against somebody. And they did their player-led workouts, and, and that's that's great. But it's you know a little different when you got pads on and coaches are out there, and you're having to, you know, yeah, move and operate. But I think that's you're, you're seeing that uh, uh, the consistency showing up. But I thought you know, Johnny had a really good day today. Uh, you know, Malik had a couple explosives. I mean, it was that um, you know, receiving core. I think is embracing the challenge of, of having to win one on ones. To, to piggyback off of that, when you have some big physical receivers, how important is it to see them use that size and physicality? No, I mean it's a uh, you know you, we want to showcase what our guys have, and uh, you know you take you know big guys that can run, that can bend, that can change directions. Um, when you're not just you know asking them to do one thing, 
they're able to put you know all those uh, different skill sets on display, but it, it, k it keeps the you know, defense off you know off balance. Mm -hmm. And what I like about the, our guys is you know, they're showing the willingness to block. They're fighting hard in the run game, and when you can do that with your size, you know it just it, it tends to you know, put you in a great position where they you can have an advantage whenever you you are drop back or you are in the drop back game and um, able to utilize those skills. How far has Bruce come since like when he got here? Like, no, it's I, but I knew. I mean. I know I said it last year when we when we got him. I mean, you know, Deuce is so was so young in the in the playing of receiver. I mean, he did he you know, he did last year, and you saw the flashes, and I and that's what I believe in. And um, you know, then you talk to the young man, and this is willingness to work. I mean, he is he has got a great work ethic. He's just such a special human. Um, you know, I think it carries over to everything. I mean, he spent so much time in the, in the meeting room, like he's. He's come night and day from that. But then even watching some of the finer details in, in, in his routes and pad level and, and all those things, you know, and he's just scratching the surface. Like it, we got, we got a, a real player in, in that young man, and I'm excited about watching him grow. Well, there's a lot of this game focused on your veterans pulling aside younger guys in between the reps and talking to them. Is that something you guys see in live time, or is that more, do you see that in film later? I guess how do you judge that kind no, of thing? No, I mean, it, both. I mean, there's times that, you know, there's certain things that happen on the practice field that you don't always notice until you get to watch film. But uh, um, and there's things that, you know, that that show up, you know, just in the moment. And I thought we had a couple of those, you know, that, that today when it was, you know, I, I like how Jordan's handling himself. And uh, you know, there's some there's some encouragement, some correction. You know, uh, you know, I think Kalen Deloach is a guy that's really kind of you know, stood out to me. I thought he was a young guy, but uh, you know, Shane Brown has really, I mean, he really. He brings the right attitude to practice, and um, you know, trying to make make a positive impact. Uh, but we get, we've got a lot of guys that are that are investing in others. You know, I'm saying defensive line, you know, a lot of leadership and um, and guys. And so I'm, I'm, I like what I'm saying. Got time for a couple more? A guy like Jarian, I guess when you get a little bit older and younger guys are involved in the program, you can maybe you know kind of fold. But I mean, have you seen a, a fight and a willingness from him to, to absolutely? Compete? And we're challenging him. You know, we uh, we moved him around a, a little bit. You know. But, uh, Put him in a little bit at the nickel position. Um, you know, I, I like what I've seen from him. You know, John's a very talented young man. It's just, um, you know, he's played played a lot of ball, had some really good good moments here, um, but it's just that consistency. And you know, I think he's grown. He's gotten better, and it's just taking that, you know, the experiences that he's had. You know, taking the, um, you know, learning the le the lessons. Uh, you know, could trust in his fundamentals, being confident in his in his skill set because he's very very talented. Um, and, and you know it's a, the, the confidence to apply it every play, and um, that's where I think he's taken some really good strides this summer. Um, you know, he's showed you know, some humility into putting in that work and challenging himself, and I think that's a, a big key in, uh, in taking those positive steps. There were some good catches today from the tight end group. I guess what have you seen? I guess through three days from from that group. Yeah, I like that group a lot, and I mean you sit there and you look. Um, you know, Cam. You know, I don't mind telling he's been. You know, He's been out for the last few days, uh, um, but uh, it's really, you know, we're you know, we're very confident in what Cam's going to going to bring to uh, this offense. And really, these first few days, it's been good um, to I mean, force almost force those young tight ends into more action. And you know, I felt very confident, you know, coming out of the spring of where we were. Um, you know, being able to add, I know I mentioned immediately like Terrell Powers, seeing him work, and then watching you know, today's his first day in pads. This is a high school receiver. You know, and you know, you see him get in there and kind of mix it up a little bit. He's already 245 pounds, so it's now it's about just develop, continuing to develop his strength. Uh, but uh, you know, Jackson West, Mark Easton, uh, Brian Courtney, I mean, very, very explosive. I mean, and then you get guys like Wyatt and Preston who have gotten better. And so, um, you know, I like I like what I'm seeing in that in that group, and I think it's going to be a group that can definitely help us. Um, but it's going to continue to work. All right, thank you, coach.